Hey, welcome to Black Liberty Records, y'all. Yeah, enough respect. Definitely, definitely. What's the topic for the day, Jimmy? Well, topic for the day is pretty much uh, tweeters. Horns. Yeah, super tweeter. You know, we have a driver. Just keep in mind, this is for the professionals. Yeah, professional thing, you know? You know, and a lot of people ask us, what is a bullet tweeter? Why, why do you need a bullet tweeter on top of you? <laughs> Your big columns and stuff. Right, right. You got th what you got? Four different sections of frequencies. You got the bass, sub bass. Yep. yep. We got mid bass. Right. We, we got, got mid range. Mid range. Right. Then what else we got? We got the highs, highs and, and the then super you got highs. The super highs. Which is the bullet tweeter. And that's the subject of the day. Super highs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what's the what's the reason for super highs? Right. The super highs is pretty much the ambience. Of the high range, it picks up where the highs left off. Where the horns left off. Yes, uh, horns. You have uh, horns with the dri certain drivers that play highs, but the super highs go up into the higher range. And what you frequency know? is that, James? You know, it's, you got super uh, tweeters that'll go up into the, uh, the 20k range. 20,000. That's why it goes. It, the, fr the frequency range go from 20 to 20,000 hertz. So the 20,000 hertz, the only things that are going to take you up there is the super highs. Now, as far as the human ear is concerned, basically what's the range that a human ear picks up? 20 to 20, right? No, they can't. They, they, well, human ear will pick up probably up into the, uh, I'd say the double digits, like up in the maybe the 8,000 range. But, you know, the super highs, you'll hear the filling. It fills in with the highs. You know, it gives you that sweetness. Like this. Uh, way up there, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? And uh and that's what it's all about. You have a phone out there? Yeah, so we're live right now, you know, we have a lot of people calling. We have someone just uh stop by the facilities, want to make a a call back home to Jamaica and stuff. They just dropped in from Florida. Uh, give me one second here. In a minute, I'll bring the phone to you. Yeah, so you have Daryl D and you have Killer Fonz. This is Black Liberty Records. We truly appreciate you joining us today. And we're gonna go over a few things that we have here. You know, we build all the different base cabinets, mid-range cabinets, and bullet horn tweeter cabinet. cabinet horn and and bullet tweeter cabinet yeah so we're going to talk a little bit about that today and like Darrell was saying again today is more on the super highs we do have some highs here but we're going to be talking on the super highs today yesterday we talked about the bass speakers hopefully you can go to Darrell D's uh, YouTube channel and check out what we did yesterday and we talked about bass we had some right. wicked bass speakers we just finished building for a client in Florida and trust me, these base cabinets, you're either a winner or a dinner when it comes to competition. And if you want to be a winner, you have to get some our speakers. So go to Daryl D's, DJ Daryl D YouTube channel and check it out, okay? Or you can go to Twitter. Exactly. Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or Instagram. That's right. And it's all the same, exactly. DJ Daryl D. Exactly. And you're going to have some stuff on uh, Black Liberty uh, channels as well. And today we're going to kick it off uh, on that channel with the bullet tweeter uh, video that we're doing right now. So yeah, behind us we have, as you can look, you can see we have a bunch of bullet tweeters here. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see it clear or not. I want you to see this octagon at the bottom here. Pull this over a little bit there so you can see. Pull that over a little bit. We're going to start with the bottom one here first. Okay, let me pull over a little bit so you can see it clear. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We call it the Octagon Bullet Tweeter. And that's Beamer. This is a Beamer a Bullet Tweeter right here. Not the JBL. I know you might get confused. These are Beamer. Not bullet, Pioneer. Not Pioneer. Bullet. Beamer. Beamer. Yeah. Now These, where's Beamer located? Uh, Beamer is in Italy, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, uh, and, and these tweeters here uh, are exported from there. 
and we get them at uh, we're a reseller for these things too. So if you need to buy them, you can always lick, lick us up. And uh, these these tweeters right here are pretty nice, smooth playing, loud. And uh, these are pretty expensive though. Each one of these will cost you about one hundred and fifty dollars. So if you're talking about eight of these, you know what it is, okay? Do the math. Do the yeah, math. Do the math. <laughs> and the cabinet. And uh, these are uh, this is our top range bullet tweeter cabinet right here. This is for a large system. You know what I mean? Uh, only the outrageous DJs get these though, really. The ones that really want to kill everything in, in sight. <laughs> you put one of these up on your stack, especially if you have two or three man, They sweeter. go all the way up, man. You got your bass, you got your mid range, yep, yep, you yep. might have your high mid and exactly. your low mid. And these go and on your the horn, top. And you put these way up on the top of your speakers. Yeah, yeah. About, yeah. about, about 10 feet up in the air. Right. Yeah, these are doing for you. I mean, and the box that these are in, uh -huh. nobody makes boxes for these type of right, things. Right, right, right. That's what exactly. you need to keep in mind. Yeah. That's why you come to us. Exactly. Because we make the boxes for these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We made these boxes. Exactly. We made these boxes. And we right. made these. We made all these boxes. That's but right. when you buy that tweeter, uh -huh. you're just getting that exactly. bullet by itself. By itself. And you can't find nobody around that uh, makes these, so you come to us. Right, yeah, definitely. And we make different type of box, like you say. Uh, you know, this one has six. And of course, you could put other in our boxes. You could put other uh, bullet tweeters in them. And this is what a bullet tweeter looks like when it's standing out by itself. Right. And this one is a different style of bullet. That's a leaf bullet tweeter. Okay. Uh, and that 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 is a really nice tweeter as well. You know what I mean? And she plays 600 watts. 600 watts, that particular one. It's about pile. You know, um, a lot of people have issues with pile, but we, we love pile because they they said that they will never be outplayed. You know what I mean? They will be second to, they will be second to none. So the price is right. I think pile is American made, isn't it? Yes, sir. Pile is American right made, here right USA. here in the USA. That's why you get a good deal. All them other tweeters that's expensive, the reason why you're paying so much money is that money they got to bring it into the country, the, the, the import money, you know? So you're going to pay a lot for them. Granted, they are nice, and especially these beamers here, they are sweeter than grandma apple pie. Yeah, <laughs> you understand? They're real nice. They're real nice and, and loud. And actually, this is an extreme box, like I was just telling you, because most people, they'll pay like one or two in a big sound system, and that should do it because it just fills in. For you to have this in here, you must have an elaborate sound system to put all eight in a box. Or you might have like a roller skating rink or a big club. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about big clubs, uh, bring that over there, Daryl. We have also here, for the big clubs, we have, we have, we call this the UFO <laughs> style of, uh, this is the UFO bullet tweeter box right here. This one hangs upside down in the club or anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it goes, I mean, the tweeters go all the way around. So anywhere you're at in the building, you're going to hear these when you hook them up in the ceiling like that. Yeah. Yeah. So you these, can have it where it's exactly. got a revolving motor like the uh -huh. balls that you hang the disco ball. For real, for real. You can put that same motor on here yep. and have this spinning around the whole time. Yep, yep. And that'll <laughs> give you a nice <laughs> sound. Yeah. Nobody makes this. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. This is we it. custom made this custom ourselves. Custom made. Exactly. Right here. Black Liberty Records. Uh, Black Liberty Records, the speaker building division is called JA, J A H Sound, S O U N D. So, JA Sound Speaker Building, you know, that's a division of Black Liberty Records. Right. And we, we're the only ones that build this right now. And you can get it for your club, for your skating rink, you know, for, for anywhere that you want sound to go 360 degrees. Yeah, so that's a nice box. A lot of work going to this stuff. Me and Daryl D, you know, we always here working, doing our thing. And uh, we need. Uh, some of these type of boxes, you can always give us a call. We also, I was just telling you about the six uh, tweeter box. You can, any one of these boxes, you can put tweeter in. You can put tweeter or bullet tweeters. We just happen to have this one here as a bullet tweeter box. We also had the Paizo tweeters over there. Mm -hmm. The old they, cheapies. Yeah, yeah. These these can fit in any one of these boxes also. Custom made. The holes on here is a little big, so these won't fit in here. But we can we can tailor that exactly. So it'll fit in here. Right, and, uh, and for any one of these boxes, whether it be the octagon, you can get these for what? About a uh, six, seven bucks. Yeah, they cheap, real cheap, about five dollars too, if you buy a bunch of them. So, but you know, of course, they take a lick and they keep on ticking. They've been around for forever. The Pfizer tweeters. And keep in note, 
it's the frequency that you send to these mm -hmm. determines how loud you're gonna have them. Right. You know what I mean? Right. These speakers really don't take a lot of power. Right, right. You don't yeah. need no big power amps. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And notice we got super bullet tweeters. Right, yeah. yeah. And these super bullet tweeters, you know, they got the, looks like a, uh, the middle of, in the, in the front of an airplane. Yeah, same as these, but, but these are different model, and uh, they play nice. And we also have these type of bullets. Oh, yeah, and those are super tweeters. Those are super tweeters. Matter of fact, this one has, a, uh, it resets itself. You can't blow these tweeters here, matter of fact. <laughs> you know what I mean? These here, they, 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 uh, you can't blow these at all. And they go down into one ohm load. One ohm load. These particular tweeters here. I'm not going to tell you where I get them now because I want to build them for you, all right? <laughs> I want to build a box and put them in there for you. But guaranteed, when we build you a box, it's like we're building our own sound system mm -hmm. so we're gonna put our heart and soul into it that's it and uh and we truly appreciate all your support you know what i mean go and tell your friends where you can get the boxes built yeah so these are nice real nice i like these i think these are these are like 600 each too believe it or not uh tweeter and they're nice then you know you got the the quad box quad means four yeah and we have several different styles of the quad box we just happen to just bring this one out these two are similar, but we have some that shapes a little different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, Depending uh, on your liking. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then we got the two. That's the double. And, and usually when you see a sound system, all they got is two on each box. Yeah, normally. So you probably have about six of them on your box, and you're still going to rip the place rip down. Rip the place down. And then we got these. Yeah, right yeah. And, and these boxes, too, uh, forget to tell you that they come in different colors. These just happen to be black ones, but we have the white ones, we have the red ones, we have the green ones, we got the blue ones. And, you, you know, as time goes by, we'll make a few of those and you'll see them. We'll come on here and, and introduce them to you. Now, if you notice, these are sprayed by door back. Yeah. But yeah. we have the smooth door. Oh, yeah, this is a smooth door back here, nice and shiny. We can get it in the, in the, in the, um, in the slip format to it, the door back, uh, non-slip. Uh, you can get it shine like this. And they'll be in different colors as well. Uh, you know, work in progress on this one. You know, I see a little gray hair, but it still looks good. I like this box too. It look wicked, darling. Yeah, real, man, real, I tell real. you. Murder she wrote. Murder she wrote. Yeah, hopefully we put some lights in there, make it, when you start playing, it'll light the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put some lights in here and make sure it bling to the beat. You know what I mean? That's we it. can do that too. We do anything. You know, when it comes to the box business, we chew it up like wrigglers. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, so... We got a lot of different boxes. Here's that's the, the color. Main. That's mm -hmm. the black color he was talking about. Yeah, this is a black, uh, flat black, but we can, uh, you know, we can make these any colors, really. That's it. Yeah, you know. And so, uh, and over here we have a few drivers. We have a horn over there. Bring the horn over here, dog. Okay. Yeah, bring that horn. We got a mid-range box over here. Uh, I need to let you know about this particular box. Put it right here, Daryl. Let me, let me see if I can turn it so they can see what's going on. This is a nice... Nice box right here, covered with the dual back uh, paint. We can make it any color you want. Uh, this is a Goodman horn in it. Goodman. Goodman. Yeah, it's a nice horn. It's a real thick horn too. If you can see, it's about. I think this is like. Uh, let's see. This is like about half an inch thick. Nice sturdy, firm uh, plastic here. Sounds real nice. We built all of this. This one has a handle. Show them the handle. When you lift it, you carry it like this. No big deal. Then in the back, do we have any of the connector plates up there? Look on the left side up there. We see some connector plates. Come on. I think I got one with a panel with a connector on it. Do we have any with a connector on it, darling? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. That's the connector panel we put on the back of this one right here. Go up close to it so they can see, though. Yeah, there you go. Right. It's a quarter inch. Yeah, it's a little dirty now. but And it's gonna... got a locking bracket so yeah. your quarter inch won't come out. Right, so it won't come out. Once you plug your quarter inch and you can jump from one box to the other. So that's why we have two connectors on here. And we put it right here like this. You know what I mean? Looks real nice. Uh-huh. And the driver goes back there. Right. And the driver's, the driver mounts. Notice that don't have a driver. We're going to show you the driver next. Right, right, right. And the driver mounts on here. And that's a flat boat driver, right? Right, but let me let them see this ring. I don't know if they can see this ring here. There's a ring in this box. Right. There's a ring here. 
And that's where the driver sits on. The driver sits right on this thing right here, okay? If you can see, it sits right here. If you put a JBL in there, this box is made where you can accommodate a JBL driver and all the other neodymium drivers as well. But we go from the JBL driver, which is the magnet fits right in here, snug, and then the horn and mounts to the horn. So that way, when the driver is on there, it's, it, it's not too much weight on the back of the horn here. Now keep in mind when you buy the horn, yeah. The horn doesn't come with this box. No, the horn, the horn. We build the box. Yeah, we build the box. Exactly. Door back or uh -huh. door back or regular paint. Uh, some nice paint. But the door back, I, I recommend the door back all the all the time because the door back will last a lifetime. And if you don't know what door back means, mm -hmm. bed liner. If yeah. you don't know what bed liner is, tell them what bed liner is. Well, bed liner, uh, well, door back is a non-slip paint. And they use it for uh, for trucks, uh, but it's a lot right of times. Yeah, truck. but a lot of the door back they use for boats. You know, that's right. Inside the boat, on the side of the boat, you know, that way when the water hits it and stuff like that, it'll take a lick and keep on ticking. That's right. You know, so the door back is a real nice paint. There, there's other bed liner paint too. I've tried some other stuff. I like them. Uh, you know, uh, this is a little bit more expensive. Uh, I'm gonna find out the differences in a minute here as far as the durability of these things because we've had some box. They were painted with different paint so far. We're watching to see how long they last and see how uh, how much abuse they can take. But the dual back, this is it. And the dual back comes in many colors. Most of the other uh, bed liners just come in black. So the dual back, it comes in multicolor. I mean, many, many colors. So we can make your box any color you want. White, pink. If you love pink, we got the pink for you. <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So this box here, like I was saying again, has a nice horn in it. Uh, it's made, you know, it has a nice handle hold, you lift it and move it around. If you have the, the, the JBL in there though, yeah, if you have the JBL in there, you're going to want two people to lift it because that magnet alone is about 34 pounds, you know what I mean? But it has the support right here where the magnet goes and it fits on this piece right here, mounts to this thing here, so you're good to go. You know, so that's, yeah, so that's why we have also some mid-range coming shortly and that box there, of course, the JBL driver, you see the JBL, this is a, ah, now this thing is real heavy. <laughs> yeah, this is a ah, uh, 2246, right? Uh, what is this, 16 ohm uh, driver magnet. One of the best driver ever made, period. The only they problem, come in 16 and 8, they, right? They come in 4, 16, and 8. Yeah, and, and these are JBL driver. And, and these drivers here are legendary, been around forever, okay? Now, people are trying to get rid of them, though, because uh, the weight. The weight. But the sound quality, you can't beat that, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. But all uh, stadiums use yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, all over the world. We got some super, super horns up top. We're not even gonna show you that till next time. But those horns, we don't even sell those. Those are for us, <laughs> yeah, for real. And they heavy though. But believe me, I play one anywhere, anywhere. I play one. And they'll tear down the place. That's tear how deadly it is. Yeah, and you know we. And this is a bolt on. Yeah, it's a bolt on, and it goes in the back of the uh, the mid range I just showed you. We got it covered up because we don't want no dust to get right, inside. Right, right, right. And uh, but Ooh, when, these when you, things are heavy. When I you put, put it in that away, box, dude. you need a oh. yeah, yeah two man lift. That's a two man lift. When you put it in that box I just showed you, when I showed you how to hold it, you are gonna need two people to do that because it, it, it's a it's way on you. Here we got another JBL. Oh, what is this we got? This is a PAL. Okay, we're going to test out some PAL now. They're supposed to be sweet as PAL. We haven't played these ones yet. But, you know, these, these are 800 watts now, 8 ohms. Okay, we're not promoting these guys or anybody else, really. We really want to talk about our boxes and what we do. But these... But, PAL, you can give us a call if you want us yeah, to... Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> if you want us to promote the stuff. But this will fit onto the back of that. It's, it's a little bit lighter. See, I can hold it in one hand. That other one, show them, girl. You can't hold that in one no, hand. I ain't even trying. That shit's heavy. <laughs> that one is like 150 watts. This is 800 watts. <clears throat> one hand. Yeah, you know, so. And it's uh, uh, two, uh, two, a bolt-on, two-inch uh, two uh, uh, diaphragm in here. And, uh... You know, it's supposed to be a pretty nice driver. I have no doubt about it because these people want to be a winner just like everybody else. And Junior, tell them what's the difference between the ohms. What makes a 2 ohm, a 4 ohm, okay. or an 8 ohm, now or what, 16 what ohm? What Daryl wanted me to do is spill the beans and teach you some stuff. The only thing I'm going to tell you is that uh, I will get, I, I'm not going to get into it deep, but I will tell you that uh, 
like one thing I'll tell you is that if you had that magnet over there to 16 ohm, if you put two 16 together, you get eight ohms, okay? And that's what'll happen right there. And if you put an eight, uh, two eights, you get four. So that means you could play more boxes. You know, uh, you gotta watch the specs on your woofer, uh, the power recommendation, so that you're driving the drivers and the woofer or whatever you're driving with the right amount of power. That way you don't burn the stuff out, okay? so. Uh, you know, uh, what I would say is if you got 16, you put two, another 16 together, you get 8 ohms. So make sure you're playing the right amount of power. With that drive over there, it's 150 watts. You make, and if, if it's 150 and you got another one that's 150 watts, make sure your power amp is playing uh, 8 ohms, 300 plus watts to it. You might not use all 300 watts, but you just want to have the headroom to make sure the thing play right. You know what I mean? So that's where we at. Yeah. Aside from that, uh, everything else is good. We're going to take a, a brief pause right now. We're going to come back to you. Pay the bills. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, give you some more juicy stuff, all right? All right. Have one love.